Welcome to the Up Band Goob Show. Can we do it? Can we put the sign up there? Sports Talk Radio. And the blues. And the blues and fucked up things. Okay. Sponsored by the Good Time Tavern of Livermore, California. Now... With that being said, all the way from Livermore, California, ladies and gentlemen, it's the FB and Goomja! <laughs> what up, everybody, and welcome to the FB and Goo weekly wrap up in sports. I'm FB. I'm the Goo. Sponsored by the Good Time Tavern of Livermore, California. How's the Goobs? Well, the Goobs in a bit of mourning. As you can see, um, this is my Trey Lance jersey. So the, the era is over now before it has begun. I know, a nice jersey, right? That's sick, man. I thought that was an actual baseball jersey, and it just said Lance on the back, and it was like Trevor Lance from the Phillies. And you right. just had the, that jersey. I didn't know that was an actual Magic jersey. Trey Lance. Yeah, it's nice, right? Wow, you really went all out on this. Yeah, I know. I was a big fan. So I got that going against me. I'm kind of sad. But then again, we have the rebirth of fantasy football. So we've Where's got our team? team. Got our team. Yeah. Um, you, of course, got the lowest grade in the fantasy draft. Nice. I like to do that because, you know. It challenges you. Some of my main guys are, uh, you know. Up and coming. Not exactly. Yeah. They, they haven't got there yet. I still am. I'm so confused. And I hope that the, I'm hoping that the FBN Goob world out here will help me with this one. So he went um, with Justin Fields. He loves. We've, we've, you've heard his name. A bit early. Yeah. A bit early. Not early. <clears throat> no. You went with somebody you were passionate about getting. Right. But the Anthony Richardson pick in the ninth, when like nobody was gonna take him at all, like like nobody was like everybody was looking at the board going, hmm, Kirk Cousins or 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 I think I'm gonna go Kirk Cousins. Not one person was I, thinking. I just figured someone who had Mahomes or Burrow or someone like that would take a chance on someone like Anthony Richardson. It kind of just ruined my whole plan for him. Right. I think you could have gotten some maybe more depth in the position. My, my receivers are terrible. My running backs are kind of stacked if Josh Jacobs is Josh Jacobs. You got a D-minus. You got a D-minus. That's all right. <laughs> I only got a C because apparently when I took Traylon Burks in the ninth, that was really a poor decision by me. And I took him two and a half rounds early, and they said, no, no. And then McKinnon. <laughs> apparently, I'm McKinnon. I shouldn't have drafted at all. I thought that was a little bit stronger. No, he's going to get 60 catches. His, yeah. He's going to have touchdowns. I agreed with that. Um, I drafted two suspended players, which – Oh, that might have helped. Not helped <laughs> that too. probably did not hurt. No, me. yeah, you really got to like, they really like was harsh with you. They were like, yeah. D minus, whatever you did was bad. I was like, wow, that D minus. I like it. I CBS like is brutal. Though. I like CBS. Them wrong. Well, you know, prove them wrong. Yeah. Prove them wrong. Well, how long suspension? Three and six? Yes. Three and six. So six is a long time. Yeah, and, and with no depth of receiver, I probably will end up dumping Jameson Williams. And Dan will pick him up in week four. <laughs> no, six is six weeks. That's a at long the be- time. Because it's the beginning of the fantasy season, and the season isn't as long as an actual football season. So if you go 0 and 6, tough comeback. Yeah. So, yeah. I have to a- get some wins early. So we'll see how that goes. And, and yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't, it could be fucked up. Yeah. It could be totally fucked up. We'll see. So, and speaking of fucked up, the, my mini. <laughs> oh man. My baby, my little golden child, my favorite car ever, has has has, has quit on me. It just it doesn't change gears anymore, which is sad because I like changing gears in it. Yeah, so, no, that, that's kind of a cool thing about it. That was one of my fun things, favorite things about it was wah 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 you know, right. now I can't do it anymore. It just stopped. Now I can't if I push the clutch in any mechanics out there, if I push the clutch in while it's running, no gears change. If I turn the car off and I push the clutch in, <laughs> all the gears change. It's like a, I just sit in front of the house and pretend now. Right. I just go, woo, 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 and I just, Maybe someone will just send you a new transmission. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. The 2003 Mini Cooper S. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Uh, so that's fucked up. You got anything else fucked up? I mean, I want to go back to Russia again. I love Russia. I, I mean, want to go to Russia. I would vacation in Russia one time. Let's just go there and meet Russian women. It's a big place. I'm sure we could find some place that's chill. 
With Russian women. <laughs> With Russian women. All right. They might look like Chinese women. And we might have to go that far east. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go check that too. They've got mountains there. We could just go live out, you know. Mountains. With these people that have been living there for thousands and thousands of years. Oh. They already figured it out. They got it. Yeah. Covered. So anyway, back in Russia, um, the Kremlin, once again, is uh, just shooting down its own planes. Or at least its own countrymen's planes. Um, there's a possibility that he actually went outside with his own rocket and just shot it down himself. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> it's very possible. Which one is it? That one, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Putin. That one, which one? That one? That one. That's the one leaving right now. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. And and then shot it down. Yeah. A whole yeah. Wagner group was involved. It was probably on a horse. <laughs> a shirt. Didn't have a shirt. Yeah. So, which one? That's one? That 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 one, sir. That one? <laughs> <laughs> Das Vidanya, motherfucker. You know what I mean? It was probably... Yeah, someone's painting, painted it somewhere. We'll find all these paintings one day, just him with rocket launchers. Yeah, right. Seared skin. I like to think that he's <laughs> actually killed every every person he's told to be killed. Yeah. Like, just bring him to me, and I will Das Vidanya. Well, yeah. <laughs> so those guys are all Das Vidanya. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure he's got the new guy on the hit list. There was a defector. You hear about this guy? <laughs> He, From the Wagners? The, no, the, the, we're, we're, mad, we're past that. They're all dead. All the way, all, all the Ragnar group and Prigogen, I believe, was the leader. How did you get, what made me laugh is they didn't all take their own planes. That's how you survive a group. You just all like, okay, all 12 generals, 12 different planes. Right. So, you know, like somehow Putin got all these guys to get on one plane. They all probably got in a plane and looked at each other and went, hey, <laughs> what the fuck we all doing on the plane? Hey, what the fuck? Hey, hey, hey! Oh shit, it's it's going up. Oh shit, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die right now. Everybody on that plane knew they were gonna die. They said, "Got no I went, "Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? I'm on the plane with you. I'm not. Remember Order Seven? Yeah. I'm not allowed to be in the plane with you. Remember? Right. How we got on a plane together? That's all I'm saying. Well, they weren't very organized, apparently. No. Or they got duped. Maybe they just got duped. Like vodka party or something. That's what I'm saying. So we, like, they woke up on the plane together, like, <laughs> like, like Hangover Four. I guess <laughs> <laughs> Hangover Four. They all woke up on the plane together, and Galifianakis was there. He was like, "All right, you know, I'm just having the party with you guys all night." And I'm like, what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Okay, so you said a helicopter. Oh yeah, no. Well, there's a Russian defector. Oh, Russian defector. Who actually like killed the, the other guys on the helicopter and like tied up a commander that was with him. Okay. And took this uh, helicopter to Ukraine. Hmm. The Russians claim it uh, just is lost right now. But, but we, they all know that it's in Ukraine in an airport. Right. And all the rest of the crew is dead. Uh, supposedly Ukraine was offering half a million dollars. So it's not lost. No, Ukraine has it. I just don't know if the guy got paid yet. All I'm saying well, is you better be on the run. That's all I'm saying. When you think about Russian helicopters, they're like the best helicopters in all military. So, like, it's remember all the Rambo movies? Remember back in the day, all the Rambo movies, that cool ass helicopter came over? That was a Russian helicopter. Yeah. They're like, like, perfected the kick ass helicopter. Now, we got badass helicopters, but their like main thing was like big, because they were always fighting, you know, like people on horses and shit like that. They just had to be like, you know, like, you know, because they were all the oil and all that shit back in the day. They perfected these helicopters. So their helicopters are sick. So I understand. I mean, like, that would be the helicopter I'd want to be like, I'll take one Russian helicopter and five American planes, please. I mean, nice. So, no, that's sick. I, I really like that. Yeah. So now the Ukraine's got a kick ass helicopter <laughs> being repainted right now. And that guy's hiding in caves somewhere. No. Oh, he's defected. He's Ukrainian now. He's, he's Ukrainian. flying Ukrainian helicopters in the military. <laughs> back in Russia. Yeah. Man, their own helicopter is going to shoot them off. That would be cool if he was the one flying it, coming back with his new Ukrainian crew. They'd be like, oh, it's not lost. He has returned. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'm back. I'm back. Oh, that was that's, uh, that's Independence Day with uh, the dad. Remember when he flies into the plane? I'm back. And then, oh, exactly. That's sick. He hates Russia that much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like He's anally probed by Russia. That's what he feels like. Yeah. And with that being said, sports of the week. Um, MLB. Baseball. Baseball. Up. Oh, it's way heating up. And it's <laughs> it's not just way heating up. But what I like about the baseball is that there's like like 
only two divisions, and they got all the teams for the long card, basically. Oh, yeah. Some <laughs> divisions are just completely over. Well, they got 13. Right. Of course. Twins. <laughs> Twins. Twins. Twins are in. The rest of the divisions does not care. Orioles, though. The mo- this, to me, is still the most impressive thing. From this whole week, all I saw was like, wow. Like, the Rays went 9-1 and one in 10. And the only thing the Orioles could do to, like, really <laughs> keep their spot was to, like, com- to, like at least be 6-4 and four or 9-1 and one, like the Orioles did. Or 9-1. 9-1. and, one. Nine and one. I was like, God damn, you guys. You know what? It seems like anything you throw at both these teams, they have the pieces around to fix it or their managers just doing a great job. Because, I mean, I can barely name some of the starting lineups anymore for these teams. But they just keep winning. They just keep winning. Well, I mean, both these teams last year were the teams that said that we're coming. And if they didn't change and they kept it together, who are the managers of these two teams? Do, do, do that's we a know? good question. Yeah, who do I love to know who the Orioles manage? Maybe that's what I need to look up. Because that's some, there's something about 9-1 and one for both in the last 10 where I was like, oh, that's really, really impressive. Because one team is truly trying to pass you. And the other team is truly, truly trying to stay in the lead. You know it's, what I mean? It's a battle. So it's, it. it's a battle. And then look, the Blue Jays are right there for the wild card. It's like not. <laughs> Vladimir, it. Vladimir Guerrero. It's he's currently <clears throat> past his home run derby championship slump, I think. Oh. So I mean, he's finally hitting hitting again in Toronto. We're the, there's still 72 wins still in it for the third team in the division. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's tough. Three right. teams in this division. The Rays and the Orioles are in. Yeah. The Blue Jays possibly. If that other division, which where it looks, I don't well, know. It wasn't so nuts this week. It was, oh, yeah. Well, listen, Twins. We'll get the Central's done. We're just going to move right out of the way. <laughs> yeah. so Congratulations, Minnesota. Congratulations to the Minnesota Twins. Unless you, I don't know. I don't want to jinx you in any way. Yeah. So, um, but we go to the West and it's three teams with basically the same record. <laughs> I thought one of these teams was third place, like way behind. Not the Mariners anymore. Oh, man. It's like first place now. <laughs> Julio is incendiary right now. <laughs> so, no, Julio Rodriguez is carrying Seattle just by himself. I think he's got uh, like five, four hit games in the last couple of weeks. Uh, he's down like 600 for the month. He's absolutely <laughs> destroying well, the baseball. Last week when we did the show, the Mariners were not in first place. Yeah, no, they haven't stopped winning. Okay. Which is amazing. But the Astros the, and the Rangers, they're kind of still winning too. I mean, the yeah. division's just crazy. I mean, the only thing I can say to the Blue Jays is that the West. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. luck. If you got to catch one of these two, you're two or three games behind all the teams in that division. And the Mariners out of nowhere took first place. The Astros stumbled to second, and the Rangers somehow fell to third. <laughs> and somehow we still want to talk about the Angels. You see, they, they just dumped like five of their starters. I, just I, cut them. I saw that. Or waved them or whatever. I saw that. Well, he, Atani doesn't want to do surgery, right? He's something up with him. He still wants to play out the year, supposedly. Right. And they. She's being pressured to by management. Cut so. five players. They just cut five other starters, basically. A couple of guys from the rotation, a couple outfielders. Anybody worth yeah. snagging? Yeah, I mean, Giolito. The pitcher from the White Sox that they traded two top prospects from. They cut him. They cut a couple outfielders. Like I said, I'd be surprised if the Giants didn't look at one of them. Right. Because they could always use more outfield help. And he's right down the street. If the pitcher didn't get sucked up by the Dodgers already, (laughs) I'd be shocked. I mean, they have to wait a few days right there. So it'd be some kind of time break. break Yeah, Thursday, I believe you can start picking them up, claiming them. I would, if, if the pitcher is somebody to just add to a roster, the strength of the roster that has to take on the Braves. I don't think it's a bad idea. Yeah, sure. There's been a lot of interesting cuts all over the week, but that was the, the biggest, like, just, <laughs> we're just cutting everybody. No, I was tripped out. I, I didn't. I, it came up as, like, a little breaker report, breaking news from Bleacher Report. Uh, yeah. The Angels have cut the whole team. Like, <laughs> <laughs> who are they, they going to play next week? They just have a tiny left. <laughs> it's just going to play. Sure, where you guys are coming yeah, up. Coming on up. We're just changing the whole thing. We're like. We know he's not staying now because after the arm injury, that must have changed some stuff, right? When can he pitch? Well, that and they haven't won a baseball game in like the last 20. <laughs> That's changed a lot of stuff, too. That's changed a lot of stuff. When can he pitch again? Uh, it won't be this year. Can he pitch again? Next I time? mean, the thing is basically the Brock Purdy thing. It's the UCL. It's the same injury as Brock Purdy. But Brock Purdy's not a pitcher. That's why he was able to come back down surgery or do whatever he did. Right. Way faster and in a better place. Well, yeah, it should. 
if he was a pitcher. Four to six he, months. Yeah, we'll see. Four to six months. We'll if see. he gets surgery right now, but he might opt not to, like you said. No, I think he's going to opt not to get surgery, and he's going to play off this year as a batter. and uh, To see what happens. To see what happens. <laughs> Take month off. And then the Angels turned around and said, no, nah, we're going to cut all the team. And he thought to himself, well, now maybe I should just get the surgery. Maybe that's why they did it. They were like, you're not going to get the surgery? Oh, okay. Well, hey, uh, Giletti, Renfro, all these guys, you guys cut. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? cut. Well, because he doesn't want to get the surgery, so the only way we can get, force him to get the surgery is if we just cut the whole team <laughs> and bring up a bunch of minor leagues. That's insane. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why they did it. I was like, I didn't think they were that. Nobody else just got rid of their whole team. Possible incompetence. <laughs> nice. Well, all I know is in that division, all the teams are fighting for the wild card. Yeah, the West Coast. All the division. It's got some fun stuff. Late night baseball is pretty interesting right now. All those, all three of those teams could be in the wild card. I'm, yeah, likely. Likely. Yeah. Although the Blue Jays, they're all fighting for the division and the wild card all at the same time. It's kind of fun. Like we're all going to the wild card. We're all going to the division winner. Just which whatever one gets yeah. it goes. It's, it's crazy. Who do I want to play? I don't know. All right. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, NL East or the NL or National League? National League East, man. We got to talk about Acuna. Okay, yeah, we do. Well, I mean, because it was funny because Mookie Betts has been in Fuego. In Fuego. So he, he finally continued tonight. So in Vegas, he uh, finally had the MVP odds in his favor. That's the first time well, nice. since like April, basically. Nice. And so that was the day Acuna went out and went four for five with five RBIs and four runs scored and two stolen bases. And I was just mine. And the, the two guys ran out on the field, and the one tried to, like, selfie up with them and stuff, and then some other guy came out, and so Cooney had to kind of stiff arm him, and Cooney was rolling around on the grass. The fucking security guys were eventually going to get there. Yeah. Well, I mean. And it was uh, it was interesting. Somebody so. needs to check Mookie Bounce out yeah. any of the men that were there. So if there was any yeah. chances, if there's any transactions of like, if you could just, like, I'll take MVP here. Eliminate too. this one. Eliminate <laughs> this one. Yeah, so it's it'll, it'll be a fun race. That's what I'm watching in the East right now. There's, I mean, Miami's hanging in there. Yeah. I guess Miami's so. hanging in. Well, we, only, we know there's only two teams eliminated. There's the Oakland A's and the Kansas City Royals. That's the only team with E's next to their title. Right. Like, a, like, E in front. Why is that E there? Actually, that right. means they can't make the playoffs. Even if they won <laughs> every single game in a row and every other team lost every single game in a row, which would be hard because yeah. you got to play somebody. So, you, so there's a winner or a loser somewhere. But, I mean, yeah, a tie, you know, but, but they still could not make it. Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah, so every other team, so Miami, uh, Puerto Vallarta, I, every other are still in an official. Pirates officially. For another four or five days, do not have an E in front of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. <laughs> so, no, yeah, Miami. No, I, I, listen, it's the Braves, and it's the second best team in baseball. Well, I mean, the, listen, we're not, I'm not division winners, but they have the division best team in all of baseball, and then they have the wild card team in the Phillies. I like the Phillies. I told you I like the Phillies. Yeah, the pitching's holding up, which I did not think was going to happen, but. Seems to be working out. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm, youth, I'm not jumping on. Uh, no, no it's I'm a, not jumping on. Juan Walker and Zach Wheeler, a couple of ventures. Oh, yeah, that's veterans. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I don't know, because there's a lot of youth movement going on right now. You know what I mean? Not not the Dodgers, of course. We got Outman, but they're or not the, I mean, the Braves a little bit, but they've got superstars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all just 23 and 24-year-old studs. So, yeah, so that's the start. Let's see how that holds up in the postseason, though, because somebody said, and I read a couple articles that were like, who are the who are the Braves like? Who should they worry about? Because somebody said, "Well, the Dodgers when they get there, because it's a bunch of older veterans, and you know, and this now we're in the serious time of the whole thing." I was like, "Well, that's interesting." I'm like, "I'm hoping for that, you know, because usually it's the Dodgers in the place, and they go, who are the Dodgers worried about?'" It's either the Braves or somebody else. I'm like, oh, "Okay, well, that's good. At least I'm on the make somebody worried side." Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Those are obviously the two best teams. I mean, those races are over. The wild card is going to be wild. The wild card, man. I, listen, Dodgers solidified, done. Brewers, Brewers are nine and one in the last ten, and and gave themselves a cushion to say, shoot, we can try yeah, to just get through. Small cushion. Small cushion. Four game, four or five game, yeah. little cushion. But went nine and one in the last ten to kind of get that little cushion. So yeah. good for the Brewers. That's Dodgers. True. 
Dodgers were over 80 wins and people are starting to get healthy. I really just yeah. like, and like, as you said, Mookie Betts has now kind of tied, at least right. tied Acuna for that. He's, um, yeah, he's absolutely kept that. But the wild card race in the West, man. It's all, everybody got the same record. <laughs> That's what it feels person. like. You know what I mean? Like, everybody got 69 wins. <laughs> yeah. Giants just got a big boost, though. Big, huge boost in that. We brought up and the, a big game from the kid. Hell yeah. The kid had 11 strikeouts. Uh, and then Alex Cobb followed him up, grand bam, with a nine-inning complete game, six-one victory. Yeah. So yeah, so he's boosting, huge boost. he's lifting the whole team, and the way the Reds are going, they lost an infielder today. Uh, we'll go for the sweep tomorrow against Cincinnati. Oh, you can't count out the Cubs though, because Justin Steele every fifth start just goes out there and gets a win. Cubs are consistent, six and four, seven, three and ten. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? They're kind of always above the five hundred mark in the ten game series. I mean, in the 10 games, you know what I mean? As we view it at, you know what I mean? So yeah. I like the Cubs. Uh, if I was to predict today, I would, and I know you don't want to hear it, but I would say Cubs Diamondbacks <clears throat> to maybe make the wild card. Sure. That okay. would be my, but now you're on your little steam yeah, roll. We're getting hot. You got to just continue to wear those Trey Lance jerseys. That's got to help <laughs> you somewhere. You know what I mean? So, um, but uh, if I, I mean, I'm just, you know, I don't know, Diamondbacks were the number one, yeah, and then they, they fell, and then if they're starting to get a little momentum again, can they get back to number two and take the wild They're playing the Dodgers right now, so well, that's not going to I know, I know. We killed them today with them. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> but I just, I'm not, well, there's 30 games left, so we got 30 more times, 30 more games to talk about. Yeah, tons of time. I remember that, what, the Tampa Bay, they blew a, what, 11-game lead or something, was like two or four, three weeks ago. We got we got some interesting stuff that may happen. But, we, but what we really have to prepare for now is that Ooh, is that um we only got like I don't know eleven ten nine days left before football starts. Now, we're long. barely going to get the NFC West in. So today we're going to do the AFC West and get that over with, so we can come in strong with the AFC, NFC West. That's right, right before the uh, Thursday opener. Yes, which God, because you know it starts and your heart is. Overjoyed with happiness and love, and then it ends and it's misery, <laughs> bunch of terror, so much terror, like my heart's nightmares. Terror. Everything bad happens during the time football is not going. <laughs> Everything good happens during football time. It's weird. I don't know what it is. I don't know if we planned it that way. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. just uh, yeah, it's football time. Let's do it. Do it. AFC West. Uh, we'd like to start with who's going to win. <laughs> so we're just going to start with the Chiefs. So because. That looked pretty good again. Yep. <clears throat> well, they still have Patrick Mahomes. They do, right? Yep. They still have their head coach. Andy Reid is still there. They have Andy Reid. Okay. And they said they were not going to take away anything from the Chiefs. The Chiefs are going to keep Mahomes and Andy Reid. Yeah, they're just going to keep doing what they're doing, which is surrounding those two guys with a bunch of scrubs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bunch of wide receiver threes and yeah, RB2s. And twos and threes <laughs> and two are, yeah. I actually, so Mahomes, but when you go to the running backs, I kind of like like the whole little dynamic of the three day with Pacheco, with uh, Clyde Alexander, and with your boy Jerry McKinnon. Yeah, McKinnon. I know how you love him. Oh yeah, that little bastard cost us a bunch of money for nothing. He did. Snagged him from Minnesota. Yeah. He was gonna be the out of the backfield, bam bam, bunch of good shit. Hell yeah. And never happened. Yeah, little Marshall Falk. Little Marshall Falk. Yeah. And now he's gone to Kansas City and he's become little Marshall Fulham. So I like the dynamic at running back. The wide receivers, to me, I don't know if I'm excited as I usually am. Rashi Rice? You don't love Rashi Rice? We're right to the late addition to this whole thing. Yeah, no doubt. No, I, I don't think it matters who's out there. Hmm? I don't think it matters who plays receiver for. You gotta be able to catch. Yeah, there's guys. <laughs> uh, Kadaris Tony. That's the said number one. Right. Have one good game. Everyone will pick him up in fantasy, and then he'll be hurt. He'll be hurt before, and he'll come back for one. He's the Sammy Watkins of the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> um, oh, I hate you, Sammy Watkins. I like Sky Moore a lot. I think Sky Moore second is going to. Second year jump. Uh, it's the second year jump, exactly. I think you could see some Tyreek. Cutting across the middle, and then turning upfield and running faster than everybody else, and a big long pass from touchdown Sky Moore. Yeah, 
Well, everyone was looking at Travis Kelsey that time. Yeah, I know. Damn. And then he snuck around, and that guy ran straight to the sideline, but that was Tyreek Hill. Big long touchdown. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Van De- Valdez, Scantling, who will, we will always love on the <laughs> FB and Goof show. Hey, listen, Packer forever, but, I mean, he's just a three. Yeah, man. Yeah. He'll be so, fine. He'll, he'll be like fine. He'll five touchdowns. Five touchdowns. You'll get 700 yards. It's great for him. <laughs> tight end, Travis Kelce, number one tight end in football. Good to go. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Fourth best offensive line. I thought that's where you win divisions. For sure. Apparently the last two out of three Super Bowls, too. So, kind of helped out. They seem to have a plan. They have a plan. I don't know if they have a plan, though, because their defense is literally really ranked really low. Like, Well, that's their plan. You just give the offense so much confidence in practice. Do you think they the Do you think they practice just 15 play drives so the defense doesn't ever have to show up on the field? All right. And then uh, four minutes left in the first quarter, the Cincinnati Bengals will receive the ball for the first time in the game. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, right? Because yeah. there's no way Andy Reid wants his defense at 28th yeah. with with Chris Jones. Yeah. Right. Without Chris Jones, while, they right. might be passed by the Raiders, who we will talk about very soon. <laughs> um, I looked for names. Sneed, William Gay Jr. No. I just looked Trent McDuffie. I couldn't find some names. I couldn't find a lot of depth or names. Now, I might be tricked and fooled this year. I was by the Chargers last year. Yeah, no, that's right. I thought the Chargers were the number one defense in football. But they got I mean, some of the same guys back. Do you trust the same, them again? <laughs> it's all about health with the Chargers. And this is the truth. It's all from offense to defense. The San Diego Chargers can start 11 on both sides. They could be the best. And after game one, they're starting six <laughs> on both sides. And we might not see some for five weeks. And you're like, except for Austin Eckler. Yeah. The, who never gets hurt? It's like a little, like, like muscle hamster bulldog. bulldog. Yeah, yeah, he's a the turnaround in receivers for the Chargers. Maybe he is a strong man. Palmer's a strong man. I don't see Palmer miss much. Didn't uh, Quinn Johnson miss the uh, combine and stuff because he hurt his ankle? I don't know, man. I'm trying to look for a bright spot. Yeah, no. Nope, all I see is receivers they get hurt all the time. He's definitely huge and hurt. Yeah, that's what's happening. Maimed horses. I mean, you know, I'm just like, man, it's just a bummer like, too. Could be a really good team. This could be a great team because yeah. when offensive line 12, Corey wins a good center, Slater, good tackle. I mean, good players on the line. Yeah. Strong cast of offensive line. Defense, it's ranked eight. Yeah. I mean, you start talking about players and then you forget they got Kendricks and Obinia. No, Kendricks. You know what I mean? From Minnesota. And then Obinia, I didn't know. The, Ra- the Ravens. The Ravens guy. Khalil Mack and Bosa. Right. Who, if don't get hurt, should <laughs> be the best two outside linebackers in football. More injuries, huh? <laughs> Again, more injuries. J.C. Jackson. Yeah. Derwin James, who I think has got to be maybe the best safety now. The guy that was on the Seahawks just here in the end. Jamal. The Jets. Yeah, Jamal. I, you know, I didn't know if anybody, Adams, I don't know if anybody was better than him. But Derwin James. Yeah. He's in the top two or three in safeties. So... Yeah. They were fun to watch. Yeah. Fun to watch. Listen, I don't want to boast them because I said so much good about them last year, and they sucked. I was like, oh, fuck, I feel stupid. I did that show. I mean, do, I, do I fall for it again? Do I fall for it again? So I, and, yeah, I fall for it again. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, we. they drafted what – they had that draft where they just focused on defensive line, and they just focused on this defense. And now they got – Kendricks from Minnesota was a good – is a good inside linebacker. For sure. For sure. So, again, here we go again. Another trick me again. Awesome. Fool me once. Man. Shame on someone. And fool me <laughs> twice. God damn it. Man. Shame on. Yeah, I'm blaming someone for that. <laughs> that guy. That guy. He, he psyched me out about him. Uh, and, and what, what that guy really psyched me out about is the Raiders. Ooh. Oh, I think they just lack depth. Injuries for the Chargers. Injury ailing Chargers. Depth lacking Raiders gave all that money to this guy and that guy and this guy and that guy real quick in like a two three year period, right. like because the Chandler Jones they gave Chandler Jones a bunch of money and they gave uh, Crosby a bunch of money and and then they gave Devonte Adams a fuckload of money and then Derek <laughs> Carr got paid but they got traded and then now they don't want to pay their running back who's the best player in football 
And it's kind of like a weird dynamic there. But I think they lack depth. Vegas. Uh, I think the quarterback that they signed this year on a three-year deal might not finish the year as a starting quarterback. Because all I saw was brilliance out of that young kid. Hayden O'Connell, baby. Hayden O'Connell, baby. I don't know who this kid is, but, you know, sometimes you just got to – Josh, uh, the McDaniel, the, he'll make uh, – He'll make a bad decision. This guy's been a head coach a couple times. <laughs> yeah. And and Bill's just waiting for him to come back to the Patriots. He doesn't care. He's just like, well, yeah. I'm not losing my job. <laughs> I mean, I'll just wait for the kid to come back, you know? So, yeah. so McDaniels, he's, you know, so I, but Jimmy G, I don't know if Jimmy G can, O'Connell look good, moved in the pocket. I mean, that would be hilarious, right? That would be great. And Jimmy goes to the back of quarterback again. But he'd be the richest backup quarterback in the history of football. Maybe uh, Cowboys just get rid of Dak. They take uh, Jimmy back, and we got Jimmy and Trey in Dallas. Oh my God, I would. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't even know what to think of I wouldn't either. I right? think we'd actually now actually live in a uh, might, impl- might, might implode. Yeah. yeah, right. I mean, like I actually now think that the NFL, this is a soap opera. They're sitting in a room <laughs> and they're just like writing this all out. So the it, it, men of the world are idiots. You know what I mean? Just like, yeah, what's going on? Such a soap opera. And now Jimmy G and Jack, Trey Lance are together again in Dallas? That's unbelievable. And Dak Prescott's a starting quarterback of the Raiders? Only until Aiden O'Connell takes over. <laughs> but that's not till week 11 when we have decided it. <laughs> so that's crazy. Um, you know, Jacob, he's the best running back. Devontae Adams, possibly one of the best receivers ever to play football. Right. Yeah, Kobe Myers back. back with his boy, Hunter Renfro. <laughs> your your little Julius Edelman all wrapped in a punt retraining Not a love. nugget of love. You know Not what I love. mean? So, I mean, Michael Mayer, the savior, like I said before, Michael Mayer has only done one thing in his whole life, break his own fucking record. Right. He sets records and he breaks records. He's got he's to pass Uber first. <laughs> but that shouldn't be very long. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Uber. Uber's got to be 31, 32, 33. Yeah. So Michael Merritt, 22, who only breaks his own records, yeah. will pass Hoopa in the first two weeks. So I'm excited about the tight end. And Jimmy G's going to be excited to throw to him. He does like the tight ends. They're usually yeah. right in the middle of one, Yeah, <laughs> right in one of his favorite players to throw to. Uh, O-line ranked 15th. You got the best line, best running back in football and the 15th best O-line. Yeah, it doesn't look good. No, that's bad. <laughs> you need to have, like, the fifth, sixth, you know, best, like, you know, some of the teams who really run the ball well. Yeah, and no, I was excited, and then I got to their secondary and kind of their linebacker units and stuff, and they're yeah. going to give up a lot of points, and these other teams in their division are going to score. A lot of points. A lot. Yeah, yeah the division, I, I saw, I looked at two or three different rankings, and the Raiders are 31st in defense. The problem is, is there's only 32 teams in football. Now, the Rams took 32nd in all those rankings also. Not the Cardinals now? No, it's the Rams. I know. Sure. I update, with, yeah. with, with Aaron Donald and... I was like, wow, really? They just, but they lost Wagner. You know, they got their Super Bowl. So right. now it's just Aaron Donald because Ramsey's gone and Wagner's gone. And so I'm like, well, we'll talk about the next one when we make fun of him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, other than Chandler Jones and Max Crosby, and Chandler Jones is aging and Max Crosby is, he's, he's, he's a bad. Raider. He's a Raider is what Max Crosby is. <laughs> just what he is. He's a, he's a violent outside, kill everybody, yeah. defensive edge, outside linebacker. So, okay. Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters is the worst cornerback in football. 15th. Uh, his Sorry, first round draft pick, 2017-15. Sadly enough, the Broncos will still be the last team in the division. I don't know. I, the more I look at some of the stuff, I'm like, maybe Broncos sneak right the fuck up the third. No problem. You know what I mean? Uh, that'd be my pick. I don't think the, the Raiders are going to have great here. No, neither. Are. Seventh and two. The quarterback is not dynamic. He's a... Uh, he's, uh, Derek Carr was great at comebacks, running around, making shit happen. Jimmy is going to hike. That's why O'Connell will be the quarterback in the end, because Jimmy's going to hike the ball and go, head off, no, it didn't work. Um, Check down to that guy. You know what I mean? And that's uh, like, well, we needed a little fucking more from me on that one. All right, buddy? And Jimmy would be like, what do you mean? I'm like, this is what I do. This is why you hired me, right? So I'm a game manager. Broncos, Russell Wilson is not a game manager. <laughs> running around like an idiot, looking for somebody to get open. I don't even know if he's fast enough to do that anymore. I don't know if Sean Payne even wants him to move two more and three steps back and then seven steps back. I want you to go back three steps and throw this way. I want you to go back seven steps and throw that way. 
if you go back seven steps and make a move left or a move right, I'm going to have you shot on the field. I mean, that's how I feel Sean Payton is, you know what I mean? Drew Brees never went more than like, boop, 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 stay in the pocket. Doop, doop, doop. This is true. This is true. So let's see what Sean Payton allows uh, old man Russell Wilson to do. And with whom will he do it with? Because there's no receivers left on the, the Broncos. They're all hurt. Well, Judy's on IR. He's on IR. Um, Sutton is... Ham, Hamler has a heart defect. Ha- heart defect. Well, why? Yeah, I didn't, even, I didn't even quit football. I didn't even put Hamler on our list because of the heart defect. Tim Patrick yeah. broke his leg again. Tim sure. Patrick broke his leg again. Again, twi- two, two times in... Tell the man to take some Every year you break your legs in training camp. That's a huge stop, strange. man, bro. I don't know what tell you, bro. It's like, maybe it was a different leg, though, so each leg will be stronger than they were before. Titanium yeah. legs. Titanium legs. Go for it. Go uh, for Mims it. Jr., that's what you got. Yeah, Mims you Jr. Got Mims Jr. going deep. And Cortland Sutton. And Cortland Sutton. Yelling for the ball. <laughs> I looked at their tight ends. I questioned every one of them because I did none of them. There was the one dude who started off strong. Yeah, a couple long hairs. Yeah, a couple long hairs. <laughs> so I didn't I was like, nah. That's that's some of their weakness. Right, yeah. When Troutman beats out the other guy for the tight end. Yeah. You're like, Troutman, you put a back out in the, for the Bears or Stone something? Burner. What do you mean Stone Burner for starting tight end? That can't, that can't be fucking true. <laughs> so uh, I like the running back in Javante Williams. If he can stay healthy. He can stay healthy. If he can stay healthy with the seventh ranked offensive line of football behind Mr. Ben Powers. Mr. Ben Powers. And, you know, guys like. Uh, Bole. Guys like. Bole, Bole, Bole. Wattenberg. And Watson. McGlinchey. Uh, McGlinchey. And Ben Bowers. You know what I mean? Russell Wilson's going to hate me. Uh, well, you know, well. Javante will love him. That's what I'm talking about. That's why, I, you know, if you can run behind these big studs. And they've got Will Lutz. How happy is he? He gets a kick in a mile high stadium. Mile high stadium. He might break records, Mr. Will Lutz. Will Lutz's comeback is on. Denver Broncos defense is in the top ten here, man. So, Sertain and Simmons and... Frank Clark now on the edge. I do love their cornerback. And Vance Joseph at the – yeah, I, I like a lot of Denver's defense. Yeah. I don't think they can outscore anybody else. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> I don't think they can score a lot of points. But I think they can maybe hold the uh, the, 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 the the Chiefs to 28. <laughs> but if they only score 17. Yep. 21. They lost again. Lost again. Yeah. Hold the Chargers to 24, but only get 17 lost again. Yep. It's all Russell Wilson's fault. Yeah. I think it is, too. Should have traded for Aaron Rodgers. Who's their backup quarterback? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. Sure, somebody. Who, for the Broncos? Yeah. Blaine Gabber. <laughs> Gabber? <laughs> nice. You love Gabber. I love I think it is Blaine Gabber. I think I actually saw that. Uh, it's good old Blaine Gabber. All right. So, listen, um, other than Trey Lance being traded this week to the Cowboys, football. Oh, Nick Bosa hasn't signed. Yeah, so if I talk to you next week, we're doing the uh, <laughs> NFC West, and he still hasn't signed. You're a little worried then. A little worried. There's only a couple games left. Yeah, who drafted uh, Jonathan Taylor? Cause he's taking a month off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jonathan <laughs> Taylor didn't get traded, did he? I don't know. But, nope. And whatever draft on fantasy is going, fuck. I should have taken Dal- Dalvin Cook. I should have taken Dalvin. I should have taken James Cook. It's like James. Yeah, it's fucking. It's Jonathan Taylor ain't playing. Um, you know who also ain't. You know who else ain't playing? Brad Kozlowski. Oh, he ain't playing. He ain't playing. <laughs> As he puts Chris Busher over the finish line to have his car win while he took second place. Can you imagine how much money Brad Kozlowski made that day? Well, he was pushing his car. Now, the driver makes so much money, but that's only because the owner gives it to him. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the owner. Didn't he own both cars? Yeah. <laughs> so he got his card. I mean, he was like uh, irate. I mean, he was like, ah! Happy as I've ever happy seen. Happy as he's ever been in his whole life. Like, oh, man, I just pushed my own car to win at Daytona. Right. And I also took second. That got a purse money. And I get the winner purse and the driver Pusher. purse. Pusher was the winner. Mr. Busher was the winner. Three wins this year. Puts all, him in a all in the last couple of months. All in the last couple. Yeah, Brad Kozowski's team in the last couple of months has had a, has, has been. We're cheap. We're yeah, cheap. Something on, yeah, something's going on. Hell yeah. Brad's learned something to cheap with or <laughs> draw on Um, yeah. So I thought that was awesome to watch him. He was he was so happy. Love Brad Kozowski. I just loved him as a driver back in the day. Now he's owning teams. He's just one of the old guys on the course, still racing. You gotta <laughs> love that. Um, Elliot, so close, so close, man. Fourth, he was fourth, man. He was in second. He was 
passing for first, going back still to Still no third. wins? Still no wins, still no championship. Uh-huh. Uh, luckily enough, with no winner, the guys who had the points stayed in. Kevin Harvick, Brad Kozlowski, they sealed it by almost the start of the race. Right. A few laps in. Uh, Harvick's in, Kozlowski, and, and Bubba Wallace in the end. He No winner. Nobody to fuck with him. He got in with like 23 points, basically. I was like, ah, slipped in, 16th driver. So now we have we have our 16th, and this is what we got. We got William Byron, Martin Trex Jr., Denny Hamlin, the Busher. The Bush man, making a push. Kyle Bush, right behind the Busher. The other guy. Uh, Larson, Chris uh, Bell, Chastain, Kozlowski, Reddick. We're uh, in. Your boy made it. We made it. Uh, we're yeah. in. I made it in on points and, and on um, yeah, win. So Legato, Blaney, McDowell for his win, and point McDowell <laughs> nice. Nice, had a win, was in on points. Stenhouse, Harvick, and Mr. Bubba Wallace Jr. All right. So we have 16 drivers going to Darlington next week for a well, a Darlington stripe on the side of their car. I so, feel I feel good about it. I feel really good about it. You have you feel good about golf and soccer, so I'm gonna let you go. I do. Uh, the, well, it was the FedEx Cup. The, uh, FedEx Cup. The, basically, the Tour Championship these days, the way they play it. Right. Where it's a weird format. You know, the guy in first place gets a three-stoke lead and right, so right, on right. and so forth. So, I mean, Scotty Scheffler was in first. He was in first. One rank. Roy was second, I believe, at one time. Roy was behind, second. Behind Sheffy. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, anyway, Morikawa, my guy, after Thursday, shot a 61, was in the lead. <laughs> Things were looking good. Nice, looking good. And that didn't last very long at all. I'll be honest. Uh, Victor Hovland just kind of took over from there. It was the Victor Hovland show. So now Victor is the new uh, champion? Victor is the FedEx champion. He's ranked uh, up to number four in the world. Fourth, fourth tourney championship of the year for him. So, yeah, he's had a good year. He's just uh, driving around Oklahoma, eating steaks and partying right now. Okay. Yeah. And the Ryder Cup comes up soon. Right. Yeah, always get excited about that. I love the Ryder Cup. Yeah, it's in a couple weeks. But that's 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 our last hurrah for golf, basically. Yeah, there's a couple of small tournaments at the end. They've added some little money making schemes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we'll get something later. Yeah. Maybe we'll play it in Brazil. Or you something. know, when another t- golf thing comes in and they make pay money to everybody, you try to look for more money too. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Try to keep up with things. Keep golf going. Hey, the weather's changing too. So if you played this golf on like a weather schedule and it started at a certain month because you could play here and you could play there and you could play there and you could play here, and then one day you realize that hey it's summer for an extra two months, you might throw in a couple extra golf tournaments just to uh, yeah get Australia it's summer the whole time it's winter here crazy man this should never end <laughs> they shouldn't get a break all right keep golfing so keep on golfing so shout out well good for that dude. So, yeah. and then Ryder Cup, so we got a new champion, and then Ryder Cup starts soon. Right, which uh, one of the uh, LIV 54 guys, Brooks Kepka, made the team. So, controversy. We got a little controversy. In we the need controversy, election. but there's no more controversy because we've said it doesn't matter anymore. We all, oh, yeah, it's not even a thing we all love. <laughs> it's nothing but love here. Yeah. So, we're all making up one mm-hmm. big happy golf family. Right. I like it. All right, so that'll be fun. Soccer. USA. Oh, soccer. USA. Speaking yeah. of USA. <laughs> well, well, not today. Yeah, not we'll, we'll start with USA. Christian Pulisic has done it again. <laughs> done it again. Right? 2-0 oh, now for AC Milan. Goals in both games. You know, the creator, the finisher. He's, he's doing it all. Nice. He's, uh, well, he's a bargain he's now. now. He's a bargain now. Yeah. $23 million. Already paid off. Already paid off. Yeah, man, that's unbelievable. <laughs> and who's also paying off? Lionel Messi once again. Once again. Yeah. Lionel Messi, man. Yeah, that two. <laughs> pink outfit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, a couple more uh, crossing assists to get his team to a uh, tiebreaker. Scoring the penalty, as always. His team wins again. That's They're going to another final. Which, remember, they had zero finals in their club history. They already have one. Now they're in the second final. Nice. Just right away. There's some more money that's paid off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're building a whole new fucking stadium, like near Miami. Right now, they're actually the inter Fort Lauderdale's because Lauderdale's they play 30 miles away from teams Miami. Don't sound as cool as the other teams. <laughs> right. AC Milan, Inter Milan. We're inter Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> so people yeah. don't even like Florida. I mean, we like make fun of it at a concert. Absolutely. Whatever. Yeah, Miami's cool though. So I love Miami. 
Messi is made of apps. Stayed at the Cadet Miami one time. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. Went down snakes on my neck. It was fun. Yep. Go Miami. Yeah. You'll see it's happening. Um, I think also, it gets tomorrow off, but yeah. <laughs> also, he is old. <laughs> he walks around a lot, too. He has to walk around a lot. He yeah, plays his ass off, actually, that guy. Just in bursts. In bursts. Yeah. <laughs> he does just kind of like that. Then play no defense. He's like, ah, uh, when you get the ball, I'll be around here. I'll ship it to you, and you make the goal. Nice. Um, <laughs> speaking of awesome, our fans. That's who's awesome. Thought that guy was awesome, but our fans are awesome. <laughs> uh, so at Dan's BRW Nez, I agree, sad face. And I believe, or O face, however you want to do it. And I and, and that was for his sad Trey Lance moment. That wasn't for this one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he was. said he agreed Trey Lance will win a Super Bowl kind of as a cowboy. Out there a little bit, yeah. I forget what I was saying, but it probably didn't make much sense. And even if Trey Lance is the back of quarterback for five years and he wins a Super Bowl, it'll still be a victory as a Super Bowl. Right. I can see it happening. I don't like it. I don't either. <laughs> I don't like the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl. No. So I take it back. It's not happening. Not happening. So and one day he is going to take that shirt off and hang it up in a closet and forget who Trey Lance is. He will. Facts. Facts. These are all true facts. Uh, so shout out to you. Thank you for commenting on Sad Man. <laughs> uh, I have a shout out to just a great human being, but I don't know if you want to shout out first. If you want to, you got some good stuff. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Well, I'd like to lead off with: Did you watch the Little League World Series final? No. All right, so anyway, you know how they always do it, USA versus international for the finals. Yes. And we were playing, uh, I believe it's Curacao. Okay. A team that had not given up a home run the whole time. Good for Curacao. And they played a good game. Both teams were doing it. El, Segun- El Segundo. El Segundo. We love El Segundo. Right. Left, left something there once. Yeah, so my, my wallet. wallet, my ID, <laughs> I can't remember. But I left it in El Segundo. Yeah, correct. <clears throat> yeah. So really nice and fake game. It gets down to uh, two outs, bottom of the sixth or seventh or whatever innings they play to. Mm-hmm. And the El Segundo kid hits a home run, blocks it off. USA wins for the first home run that team had given up the whole time. Walk off home run on a team that never gave up a home run the whole time. Yes, exactly. That's how we do it in the USA. So shout out to that kid for hitting that home run off that pitcher. Oh yeah, impressive. <laughs> That's very impressive. And shout out to that kid. Yeah, and the whole team, they played well. You want to continue on your little baseball shout out, sir? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I grew up on the East Coast, and Daryl Strawberry and Doc Gooden were, they were electric in the 80s. Just so people know, Daryl Strawberry and Doc Gooden played for the Mets. They were two players that played for the Mets. Part of the 86 world champion. Yes. They Bill, were. Bill Buckner probably does not like them. No. And to be honest with you, if you were a top junk card baseball collector back in the day, you looked for the mighty Doc Gooden and the mighty. Oh, yeah, because they were stars right away. You wanted those rookie cards because you knew they were going to be good. Yes. And then you forgot that there's drugs and alcohol. Yeah, yeah those guys <laughs> got themselves mixed up in some bad stuff. Man. But they made for a great team. Oh, man. They made for great players. And, yeah, uh, their jerseys were retired. Shout out to Doc Gooden. And, um, well, both of them. Dwight Gooden. Entertaining the shit out of me in the 80s. Actually, yes. between the two of them, I think they have like four World Series. Yeah, weren't they on the cover of a magazine once? I believe we have a picture of it. Yeah, possible. But there it is. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, whoops. That's not the positive one. That's the other one. <laughs> That's all right. We don't need positive. We just need faces. They probably pawned their rings anyway. It's probably very true, actually. It's probably pretty true. Uh, I myself want to shout out a legend. To the man, the myth, the legend, Bob Barker. Probably Chuck Norris's neighbor? Chuck Norris's neighbor. Damn. And after I knew he was Chuck Norris's neighbor, I kind of quieted up. I didn't say much after that. So, uh, animal loving activist. He probably did more for animals than any other man ever in the neutering. Yeah. Cause he did that whole spay and neuter thing and all the, you know, which was smart. You know, like you can't get anything from the pound anymore without but you can't get anything in the pound anymore without fucking having it spayed or neutered. And that's pretty much his. Well, we don't want wild packs of dogs. We don't want wild packs of dogs. So that was his big deal. Um, Host of the greatest television game time, daytime 
game show of all time. If yeah. you're sick, you get to watch it type show. Price is right. Oh, oh yeah. man, love the Price is Right. And <laughs> he kicked Happy Gilmore's ass. The Price is wrong, bitch. So, uh, shout out Bob Barker. Absolutely. Say out of Chuck for me. Say out of Chuck. Yeah, say out of Chuck for me. So, with that being said, I'm happy. I'm good. Peace. And Minion. That's what I'm doing.